In this video I am talking about 24 to 70 mm f2.8 lenses for L mount cameras Sigma versus Lumix. If this is your first time here on my channel, my name is Path, and I talk about all things photography and video here, cameras, lenses, reviews, tutorials and more. If this is something that you are interested in, then please consider subscribing. I have been a fan of the Sigma 24 70mm f2.8 since it came out. Apart from the rare reports of the dust specks appearing behind the glass in some of the individual copies of this lens, something I've never seen myself in any of the lenses that I have used, this is a pretty much a perfect zoom lens. And I'm sure that a lot of you will agree with me. But this Lumix 24 to 70 mm premium lens is over thousand dollars or pounds more expensive than the than this Sigma. But is it this much better? Before I tell you my opinion, I must say a massive thanks to Sigma UK for lending me this L mount version of their lens and UK Digital for lending me the Lumix lens for this review. As always, I was not asked or paid by anyone, Sigma or UK Digital or anyone else to say anything specific about any of these two lenses. So this is my honest and 100% unbiased opinion about them. Performance. I have taken both lenses out and shot similar or the same photos on the same day with both of them. I don't think that doing any technical tests to prove which one is sharper would be actually very helpful here as they are both stupidly sharp and I'm sure you can see uh, lots of independent reviews out there. So I've decided to test them in the real world situations instead. There's no surprise that they both perform very well. In my opinion, there is a very little difference in how the image is taken with both of them. Look, the colors are very similar and the bokeh is almost the same, but maybe a little bit more defined with Lumix. I have been shooting with both on Lumix S5 camera and at first the autofocusing performance seems just the same, but then have, I have noticed that Lumix lens, surprisingly, struggles very often uh, when the background is busy and trying to focus on something uh, small like a flower. But Sigma had no issues in the same exactly scenarios with exactly the same settings. This is a little bit frustrating at first, but it is very easy to correct uh, by just turning the focus ring on Lumix lens to go to manual override instantly and get the focus in the ballpark quickly for the AF to finish it off. That also works with the Sigma lens, but I never needed to use that function when shooting with it. So surprisingly, in my tests, Lumix was slightly worse autofocusing. I'd say that as far as photography performance goes, both of these lenses are very close to each other. In fact, I can see only very minor differences as I am comparing the photos side by side. Shooting experience is excellent with both, no doubt. I am not going to go into video autofocusing here as I am pretty sure that these lenses can perform very well, but not with the current S line of Lumix cameras like my S5 to make them reliable. We all know that the autofocusing of S line of cameras is okay, but it has got issues. I can't say that this lens does a better job than this one if they both going to suffer from the usual background pulsing due to the camera limitations, which have nothing to do with the lens itself. Itself. But when focusing manually, when filming, there's a night and day difference between these two. They are both focused by wire with the focus ring turning all the way around without the, the hard stops. But with the Lumix lens, this can be switched to linear mode via the camera. So the focus ring reacts like an old school lens or cinema lens, giving you consistent focus changes with the option to change the focus rings travel from 90 degrees to all the way around and more. With Sigma, it is focused by wire and that's it. Although it is possible and not that hard to nail manual focusing with it, with the Sigma, it's not consistent uh, but as it reacts to speed and velocity of the ring being turned. Icing on the cake with the Lumix lens is the auto manual focus switch on the lens. You can obviously switch it to, uh, to manual mode via the camera and the lens will perform as I have just described. But by pulling the focus ring back, it engages the semi-linear manual mode and reveals the focus distance markers. There's still no hard stops, but you get these soft clicks at, uh, at minimum dist focusing distance or when turned to infinity. Pretty smart feature considering that most likely you'll be focusing manually when filming with this lens anyway. Minimum focusing distance of the Lumix lens is 
constant 37 centimeters throughout its zoom range but sigma sigmas is 18 centimeter at 24 millimeter and 38 centimeter at 70 millimeter letting you to get much closer to your subject when fully zoomed out when shooting wide build quality Sigma is smaller and lighter. Sigma weighs 835 grams, 100 gram less than the Lumix lens, which weighs 935 grams. Both have 82 millimeter filter thread, no stabilization built in in either of them, uh, but both were sealed. Sigma, apart from the standard um, auto manual focus switch and the lock switch to lock the lens in and stop it from extending out, has got a button which uh, usually uh, is a focus hold button, but this one doesn't do anything on Lumix S5 and I can't find anything, any way to program it to do something. Let me know in the comments below if I'm wrong about this and there's a way to assign a function to, to that button on the Sigma lens. Lumix lens has got no buttons but that snazzy focus pull switch that I have mentioned before. Zoom ring on both lenses is very firm but Sigma's focus ring feels much lighter. It has got much less resistance than the Lumix one uh, and both lenses extend out when zooming in. The price, this is the biggest difference between these two lenses. Sigma retails for £1,050 here in UK or $1,100 in US and this is not a cheap or budget lens. But Lumix 24 to 70 millimeter costs whopping £2,250 or $2,200 in US. This is a huge difference in price considering that both of these lenses are 24 to 70 millimeter f2.8 and their performance is almost identical. Conclusion, in my opinion both of these lenses deliver results that are virtually indistinguishable from each other. Yes, you can see very subtle differences in contrast or color or even in the smoothness of the bokeh but only when you compare images taken with both of these lenses side by side. Independently, the results both of these lenses deliver are in the same high quality class. There is certainly no difference shooting with either of these lenses, no major differences anyway. Is the Lumix lens over thousand pounds or thousand dollars better? I don't think so. When it comes to the build quality, yes, overall when, when comparing them side by side, Lumix lens feels and looks slightly better built than the Sigma, more solid, but it is bigger and heavier. The manual focus pull switch is very nice and the ability to focus with it in a linear mode could be a game changer for the filmmakers, but not for this big price difference. I think a lot of videographers could adapt and put up with the unpredictable focus by way of the Sigma lens or go for dedicated cinema lens for filming instead. For photographers, this all makes a very little difference, especially if you only use autofocus. I can't say that Lumix is not a good lens. It is a amazing, really top class, but so is the Sigma for less than half of the money. Even if the money was no object, I think I'd go for the Sigma and buy another lens to go with it with the change left over. And this is it from me. I hope you liked this video. And if you did, please uh, give me the thumbs up. Please consider subscribing. Follow me on Instagram for more photos and videos from all of my reviews. And thank you for watching. See you next time. When the background is busy and trying to focus on something small like a flower, uh, ah, this is shit, man. <laughs> we all know that the autofocusing of S line of cameras is ah, mother. These lenses are bloody heavy. I feel like I had a workout holding those lenses for so long while talking about them. Yeah, it's a wrap. Bye.